Hey you guys, welcome back to Simple English Idioms. This episode we are going to learn how to say medzi dvoma mlinskimi kamenmi. Do we need to change anything or is it that simple? Well, let's see. So, actually you've got two options how to say that. One is from Greek mythology and the other has nautical origin. And if you like stories and myths and legends, then you're going to love this uh, first version that comes from Greek mythology. Actually, Homer wrote Odyssey. And based on Odyssey, we can use the idiom, which goes like this, between a rock and a hard place. Now, why a rock and a hard place? Bear with me and I'm going to walk you through the story from Odyssey very briefly and you'll see the logic in it. So, in this Odyssey, there is this main character, Odysseus, okay? He is a king or he was a king and he fought long years in the Trojan War. And after fighting in this Trojan War, he wanted to get back home, yeah, by ship. This way home was very, very dangerous. It was treacherous. And at one point, Odysseus had to pass between two dangerous places. On his ship, he had to pass between a rock on which lived this horrible monster. Its name, according to the story, was Scylla, and it was a man-eating monster living on the rock. So that's why in the idiom we say between a rock and the other place, dangerous, treacherous place, is this one. It's a huge whirlpool. You can imagine it can be really dangerous for a ship to pass it. In the story, its name was Charybdis. It was a huge, dangerous whirlpool. That's why in the idiom we say between a rock and a hard place, right? So if you are in a difficult situation, basically you can compare it to this one, to Odysseus's way home when he had to pass between a rock and a hard place. So we can say we are between a rock and a hard place or we are stuck between a rock and a hard place. And what we mean by it is that we are in a very difficult situation when we have to make a hard decision. One personalized example from my life. Yeah, my mom's round birthday is on the same day as a very important meeting at my work. So now I have to decide. I don't know what to do, you know. Tell my mom I won't come to her birthday or cancel the meeting. So I'm stuck between a rock and a hard place. But maybe if this story wasn't gripping enough and memorable enough for you, then maybe the other one, the other version will be better for you to remember. As I said, it's of nautical origin. So it means that it's connected with, you know, the sea and the ocean and sailors. Probably centuries ago, sailors started to use this. They came up with this idiom and it goes like this between the devil and the deep blue sea. Well, imagine yourself on a ship. This is not from modern times, of course. Nowadays, we would use a plane, of course, to travel. But, you know, centuries ago, you are on a ship and you're sailing across the ocean in horrible weather, you know. And if you had to choose between the devil who represents everything bad, evil, and falling into the deep blue sea and drowning, which one would you choose? It's really a hard choice, again. So, which one is worse? Falling into the hands of the devil or falling into the deep blue sea? Sophie's choice, right? So, when you say that you are between the devil and the deep blue sea, it means you're in a 
again, difficult situation where there are two equally unpleasant choices. Well, if you like this video, please support us, subscribe or like it and tune us again. Thank you very much. This was Miriam from Language Studio Uthama. Bye.